Hello, welcome back to my channel and I would like to introduce a new series on creativity. I'm going to try to help as many people as I can on trying to unlock their creative side. And what we're going to do today is we're just going to start with a basic shape. I have a rectangle here made out of stone and we're going to turn this into a house. So what I plan to achieve here is to help you with unlocking your ability to create. One method I want to attempt to try is using a blank canvas. We know that this will be a house. I have a basic size and shape. This is where I'm going to put my doorway and it still looks pretty plain. And now while we're in here, we're going to imagine a window. Where would you like to see a window? Where would a typical window be? So what I'm going to do is just punch out you can always play around with ideas so we have a window here so now it now it looks like a house am i correct but it doesn't look like a very good house it looks like something uh okay it looks like a plain house like maybe a kindergartner built it or something i mean which is fine this is the first step in opening up your creative side so now what we want to do is we definitely want another window and so what we're going to do is going to unlock another window maybe a small one and then probably do a larger window here and so now it's starting to look like a house so now what we need to think of is what does this house going to look like and right now you probably think in your head well maybe wood maybe stone brick so let's give a wood house a try so we have different variants different shades so maybe pick out a couple that you like and what I would do and this is what I do when I'm playing in my survival series if I'm just free styling a build I will go and I will place a template maybe an example and then go to a different spot just do that again and see which one stands out to you and so since how spruce has always been my favorite block I'm gonna try something different because I use spruce a lot so I'm gonna stick with the oak even this helps me with my creativity and try to change things up a little bit so we're gonna go with oak planks we're just gonna swap all these out And never worry about messing up. So we're going to go ahead and knock these ones out. Since we know where our window and our door is going to be. We could just go ahead and monster through this. Okay, now from the inside it looks starting to look like a house. Something you could probably work with. And still looks kind of bland. We could probably just go through and start placing our oak planks here along the corners maybe you would like to spice it up a little bit maybe you want a different variant maybe you want a trim so let's try different things that we could use take a stripped spruce log since I do love spruce we'll just place spruce right in there and so your gears should be turning a little bit now and you should be starting to get some ideas on, hey, you know what, let's put this here, let's put that there. Give it a go, do it. You never know until you try it. So let's go with, let's add some color to it. Yeah, I like that, let's just stick with that, let's try it, let's see what happens. All right, now it's starting to actually kind of look like one of those houses from back in the day. So let's change that up. So we definitely need a roof line. What kind of roof is up to you, but when you think of typical shingle roofs, they're usually squares, uh, small rectangles, and they're dark. They can be light, they can be dark, they can be blue, they can be pink. And unfortunately, we don't have those colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, okay, I'm wrong about the pink. So we're going to pick either a wood variant or one of these slab variants. Let's go up here and we're going to type in stairs. We're going to find something that looks like shingles. And we have several different blocks here. Any one of the wood colors, uh, even copper. Uh, pretty much it for the idea that's in my head. You might have something different. That's fine. Go with it. So I want the roof to stand out from the rest of the build. And we're going to try using... 
Okay, so we're going to use some slabs here. I mean the, uh, what is that? Cobbled deep slate stairs. Let's do one side. And you may already have an idea. Go with it. Test here. Test that one. We'll do a test with each block. Since we have one of those already, we'll throw the copper up there. So you're looking at the colors. You got this oak and you got the teal. And I'm thinking something not so dark. So we're going to eliminate that. But I don't want it so light that it takes away from the build. So I want to try to keep it at a medium color. I've already got wood in place. So let's try maybe knock out the wood, eliminate that. This is to block because of the edges or the edging. So we're going to eliminate that. And that leaves us with these two colors and these two um, designs, textures. This looks more like a, like a tiled roof. This one is got shingles. It's got these nice little rectangles. And so I think I'm gonna stick with that. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. And then what we're gonna do is find the block form of that. Is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to fill in the corner or the edging. And what you'll do is just basically pyramid. Make sure you leave a space for your stair. And then you're just gonna fill in your pyramid okay now at this point it looks too much like a kindergarten drawing right no depth no shape always bring your edges out this will give it that look of a house that you're looking for every time and I realize that maybe some of these things that I'm saying are obvious that's fine maybe it's not so obvious for the person that's watching that. The point is, is we are trying to unlock our creativity. And then this is not a building tutorial. This is just examples of what I would do to help me be more creative with what I'm trying to build. And I'm hoping that this will help you. So now we have our roof and it looks way better. Now it looks like an eighth grader drew this house. So we're gonna fill this in there's always going to be an overhang now it's up to you if you want to fill in the attic or not but to me it's usually a waste of blocks especially if you're playing in creative mode uh, not creative mode I'm sorry if you're playing in survival to what you have at that time resource gathering everything all that ties into time and energy and never feel afraid of going into creative to test things like this because that's what it's for. So now we have a nice little house. So now maybe we want a foundation and we want to do something about this trim right here, this separation between the roof and the house. So we're gonna focus on what we wanna do with the foundation. Like I said, always toy with the idea of your different block. Imagine times when you've looked at your neighbor's house or your house and you've seen the foundation of what it's made of and what it looks like. We have these blocks, so if you go to type in brick we have actual brick stone brick that's infested we don't want that we don't need termites uh we have the red nether brick we have nether we have deep slate and we have so we're going to look at we're going to check out these four colors or these four textures just like before just start placing these down see which one you like see which one flows with what you're trying to do Step back, take a look at it, see which one. So I could tell you already, the brick is a no. It clashes way too much with the colors, with the green. That looks okay. Even the black slate or deep slate bricks, that actually ties in with the roof. So we're gonna leave that for a second. Now the andesite doesn't, it's too, don't know the word for it, it's not working for me. So we're just gonna get rid of those, and now we're gonna make a decision between the two. Now we could probably make this work, but when you sit back and you look at it, and it's like, okay, one thing you could do, right now my eye keeps going to the roof when I'm looking at it at this angle. Look away, look back, and the roof catches my eye every time. We don't want that. We want to draw attention away from just the roof, but as the whole building as a whole. I hope this makes sense. Now, when you come over here and now you look at this, it divides your, your sight. You see the roof, you see the foundation, and you see everything in between. So 
we are going to eliminate our last block and put in our new block, block that we chose. Okay, so now we're going to take care of this. Typically, you can usually do this with what you've already trimmed out. Or you can use this block and go on up with it. You'll want to make sure that goes up because it won't look right if you don't. Starting to sound like a tutorial. Either one of these work and it all depends on what you want it to look like. But in my opinion, and this is just me, I feel the teal is too much. This is an accent color and you should only see just a little bit of it. Now we need windows and doors. So you go in and you just pick you out some windows, window color. So we're gonna go clear, maybe some black, black and white, and in between. It's not what I wanted to do. Thank you, stop it. So let's go clear. And this isn't like I'm I'm I can't stress this enough. This is not a tutorial. This is to help you unlock that creative side of your brain to build something. Like I honestly did not know what I was going to do with this rectangle when I started this recording. And look where we're at. We are creating our own design. Now, we're going to pick out one of these windows. Which one would you think in your opinion would be the nicest window i feel like we've got too much dark already and the light or the the clear the plain glass is probably just a little too much and you can darken them up a little bit i mean so now let's go inside and get the floor done this floor could be whatever you want we're gonna eliminate what we have here this is the fun part because you can get real creative with this you can always go with a pattern or you can go with a solid color. What you choose is what you feel like works the best. You can take, so let's go type in log. So we don't want the floor of the ceiling to be so dark that it, it it's miserable. We want it to be warm and cozy. So let's take this and maybe that. So you can probably try and you just take your pattern and you just alternate your logs. And then you can just kind of step back and have a look at it. See, I like that. That's warm. That's cozy. You can try it with the spruce. You can try it with any of the logs. This is a nice quick pattern and it looks good. So at this point, you could probably just pick one and go with it. Or you can do, so we have these long ones right here. We're going to replace the spruce. And now with the ones that run this way, we'll replace with the acacia. I said the acacia, thank you. Not only does it have two different colors, two different patterns, but they mix well and they look good. And we're gonna leave it. Now remember, whenever you're doing these things, never, never feel like this is the final product. I never do. Whenever I go, if I go and create this in my world, I will probably change it up a little bit. I always do because it may not actually work with what I'm trying with the theme I'm trying to go with in my area so now we are going to spruce up the house a little so it looks pretty straight up and down really not a lot of depth as far as here goes and we can change that we can add a front porch so let's go with what we already have here and extend just like that if you want a little bit bigger porch that's fine do it go with it this is your brain. This is what's coming out of your ideas. So let's go with a wall. And always remember, I could probably take this prismarine and it'd probably look okay. Probably look good. But realistically, how long will it take you to get enough prismarine to build these? So be realistic with what you're trying to design for your world. So right now, remember the things that you have access. We have this wall up here and we want to try to not mimic it. So trying to make it blend here so we're gonna to go to the fence we're gonna get the warped fence and just we're gonna add these little pillars to your front porch and I'm already seeing that I want this covered you don't have to have it covered it's up to you so you want it to be up here with the rest of your roof just make sure just do that eliminate that fill that in Whoops, okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have a 
part here that we can't just throw stairs on without it looking weird. So this is where we'll use slabs. And then you'll just bring this out. Now it still looks weird, doesn't it? So what you're gonna do is you're placing, if you have this here, you wanna re mimic that upside down and backwards, just like that. And you'll just fill that in. Now we can't do that up there because if I do that, it's gonna look awkward. So the best thing we can do is just use half slab to fill that in. Now it still looks a little weird. So if you have to, you can bring this in, eliminate that top block that we put in a minute ago, and just fill this in. And then bring up your porch posts that hold up the ceiling. And there you have it. So it's still not quite enough, not what you're wanting, right? So this is where you can start adding detail. <laughs> Maybe add some gate. These, these make great fencing, railing, just because of how they look. You can always do that. And then play with the idea of different things. So we're going to take this stair. And every time I see this, I see this edge right here. It's just weird and awkward. So maybe we can try to eliminate that edge somehow. Maybe we can even do this. It still looks awkward. So let's try something else. Let's try the walls again. No. So now we changed that nasty edge really hard, sharp. So now we need a way up. You can always do classic stairs, make them less boring, or push this back, do that stairs back here. Makes interesting shapes and it's less blocky. So we're just gonna leave that for now because for right now it actually looks good. So now we have this awkward window being blocked by our post. So what we'll do is we can just eliminate that. That was one eyesore we just fixed. So now let's go inside. I forgot about the roof. So let's get rid of our bat spawner. So we don't need to see that dark. So maybe we can probably hide it with a wood type or a different block type. And so we still have that. We could probably just cover it up. It gives you some depth. Or you can add more depth to it by turning these into the stairs. Now see we just added a trim that's completely out of the way. And it looks nice when you come in it doesn't really pull your eyes up there but when you see it out the peripheral it fits so we still need a door so we don't want to use anything that's too light because the build it'll throw everything off we don't want to do anything maybe too dark let's try this I mean it's not bad so we keep that one so let's check out mm, the lines don't fit see the how it's going up and down and the walls are going side to side it doesn't fit what about that one I feel like it's the same can't not trying to get it to match but I'm trying to get the colors to fit and I feel like that one's probably going to be the best for the moment because you got to look at color and the design in the door not always so now maybe you want a fireplace um stone brick question is where would you like to see it would you want to see it here along this wall or would you like to see it back here along that wall I think we're going to go put it right here so you're gonna lay out your basic shape here and try to make it just a little bit above your roof line your ridge line here because it won't look right if you don't why does it keep doing that so we'll just do that add one here place that there so now we want to make sure our roof our roof is is not open like that with gaps and we'll go on the inside and make the fireplace so there's our chimney. So we're gonna fill in the edges. And this is where your fire is gonna be. This is gonna be the flume. So now here you get to make a mantle. So you get to play with the idea of what you're gonna make here. Like that. Keeps you from being able to actually get in there and burn yourself, like I would do. Let's get rid of that and place it with that. And I feel like this probably sticks out too far too. I think it's too thick so what we could do is probably let's go to trap doors 
And then maybe... And when we put the campfire in there, it doesn't look like the chimney is plugged up. As you can see, we can always shorten this and place our trap doors here. Or not. It's a small, a small <laughs> fireplace. And you probably already have ideas on what you want this to look like. Do it. So now, oh, transition. Great opportunity. I just broke the only, dang it. Give me that door back. So let's break that. And since we already have this block here to keep a theme with our checkered, bam. Let's put our door back in there. You can do things around the windows to make them pop. One way is adding trap doors. Either above it and below it. Or you can even do on the sides to make it look like shutters. So we're going to go with the shutter. And another thing you can do, pop that, drop that in there, just like that. And then if you wanted, you could probably make this a bigger window. And you could probably just mirror what we did on the front window. That's not a bad looking design. Now maybe at this point, warped logs is just not doing it for you anymore. Maybe we want to add something different. That's fine. The point I'm trying to make here is trial and error. What looks good and things change. So maybe we want to use something different as far as the corners here. Let's try. Okay, the black stone's just, that's too dark. You can always try using different blocks <coughs> for your trim piece. Or maybe you want to use the crimson plank. Oh, forgot one. I think I like the, the crimson or the warped plank better than I did the warped log. And then we can change up the doorway here. And if you do it this way, we're going to have to put that block back. Just because now that has become the outside. Oh, forgot another one. So now let's give the house a little bit of animation. You can use that if you wanted to try to keep your trim color, your accent color. Throw that in there. Oh, this ain't going to work out too well. Hang on. Missed. Stop it. All right. So now we're going to go around the outside. And just eliminate that block. Now your house has some animation to it. Makes it look like it's being lived in. Another technique that a lot of people like to do is mixing up the texture. So we've got, what do we got here? We got oak walls. So let's go to the logs. Log. We're going to find an oak strip. Now since our lines mainly run this way, I've always found it, it being more eye-pleasing. Let's get the... Uh, the ones that have, no, that's not it. Uh, let's type in oak. That'll get us what we need. That right there. Just because of this window. And so I have my lines in the texture running with lines here. In that texture. So it looks more right. And you randomly place a few of these in just random areas. To help break up some of the solid all these lines right here so maybe we can go up here place one there let's just put one right there let's go over here do one there and we'll just leave it so now we got this big section right here so let's start here break that up let's put one way up here in that corner there you go now maybe you want the roof to be we'll get, we're gonna do the same thing to the roof so we're gonna find some stairs without the s we're gonna find something that we could put into the stairs so we need what options do we have we use this this will be too dark i'll show you we could probably use the cobble so you can just place in a couple random bits we'll go on the other side and try something else okay see see how that's just too dark it takes away so let's put that in there let's put one up here 
Now if you do it too much, you're going to draw too much attention to it. And this is too much attention. In my eyes. And I, I, I like the way that looks. So oh, We can't forget about our, uh, our porch roof here. Let's just add a couple bits here. Now when you're back here and you're looking at it, it looks not so perfect. Now we can do the same thing with this. Now with these, we have different variants, different ways of doing this. We can do the bra uh, the crack. We can even throw in some messed up block. We can even throw in a pattern block. Maybe break it up with that. So let's try and see what we can come up with. So let's do that. Maybe I feel like if we do this, not too much of it. Maybe one or two here and there. Just kind of step back. And it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really click. I'm not liking it. So what about the the tiles? Okay, that is way too much. No, nope. so maybe our best option is the crack. Makes looks makes the house look like it's settled, and maybe this whole corner is. Now see, there's too much pattern. Too much pattern. Let's get that back. It's still too much. We don't want to overdo it because then it starts looking like a pattern. So let's go over here and add one on this side. Maybe right here. Perfect. Now you can start having really. A lot of fun and my brain is already tick or clicking on ideas so I want to take that block and I'm gonna place it on the corner right under the roof on each one of where the, the this color is just like this now I see this right here this is bothering my eye every time I come around here so let's do let's do that this side actually doesn't bother me too much like because everything flows and fits all of this goes up and there's a line right there breaking up the roof from the wall just this side it, it just bothered me so let's maybe relocate this there we go and then that leaves us room maybe add shelves where did I put it away so add some trap doors right here And so it draws your attention away from that black. Now it's easier to look at and it doesn't bother you. See, look, we're being creative and it's working. So the chimney to me is too perfect. Let's not make it so perfect. One way to do that is use a different block and just throw it in there. You could try these two blocks. First, we'll try the smooth or the regular stone. And what I like to do is really just kind of group them up. So let's put one here maybe here maybe even there and then right here i'm filling it right there now let's go up here let's break that put that in there now i feel like if we did the andesite it would be too rough you know what actually not that bad we'll leave it in there you can even you can even mix up to both these blocks so say like right here where it doesn't where this andesite does not touch this andesite you can put that block in there and same goes for maybe that guy right there the point is what we're trying to do is making the build pleasing to the eye and as weird as it sounds roughing it up makes it look pleasing and you stand back here and you see that chimney it looks nice and you can see detail you can see shapes you can see contours you can see colors you can see imperfections now you don't have to be, you know, when people tell me I'm not creative enough or I'm not creative at all. If you followed what we did here today, take it, build it, work block for block, break it down. When you build it, break it down and go, oh, well look at that. Maybe I could do something different here. Maybe I can use copper instead. You know, don't be afraid to try things. If you use this build, make it yours. Don't make it mine. This is what I designed. Take this and do different. You know, change it up. Let your creativity flow. Don't don't think about what you're doing. Just just grab different blocks and try different things. I really hope this was helpful in helping you open up and be more creative. So if you like this episode, if you want to see more, please let me know down in the comments. This is one of my things I love teaching. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. I want to hear back from you. If there's something that you would like me to tackle, a specific thing, let me know down in the comments. Feel free. I'm always open. And I hope you learned something today and have a great evening.